dogbe mama o me dogbe na mi kata ma o na ira mi kata thank you very much this is the second time I'm here in Germany. The last time I came was a very happy occasion because we came for the commissioning of your secondary school. But on this occasion, um, it's not as happy because we've come to sympathize with victims of the boat disaster and with victims of the rainstorm. Aside from that, you can see that we are all wearing masks, as if we are ninjas. But um, we know why we are wearing the masks. As you are aware, there is a, a sickness caused by what they call the coronavirus that is affecting not only our country, but the whole world. In Ghana, so far, about 13,000 people plus have been infected. And at least 70 people have died. Let us not take the sickness as a joke. It is real. And if you go to the isolation centers and treatment centers, you will find people admitted who are struggling for their lives. So we all have to do whatever we can to protect ourselves. And so please don't shake hands with anybody. Keep a safe distance especially if somebody is coughing or sneezing. And remember to always wash your hands frequently with running water. Don't wash in a bowl. If you don't even have a tap, take the bowl, wash your hands and pour the water. And then also, if you have sanitizers, use the sanitizer to sanitize your hand. And anytime you go out, try to get a face mask and wear it so that you don't catch the infection or you also don't pass the infection to somebody else. But as the Member of Parliament has told you, the main reason for my coming here today is to sympathize with our brothers and sisters who were affected by the rainstorm and also to condole with the families of those who lost loved ones during the boat disaster. And so that is the main reason of coming here. And as he has said, we came with a few items. We say that for the one who doesn't have, who gives you when he doesn't have, it means when he has more, give he will give you more. And so for those who suffered from the rainstorm, who had their roofs removed and their buildings destroyed. We brought some cement. It's uh, 300 bags. bags of cement. But we cannot bring all the cement here, so we brought just a few. But the cement is 300 bags. And then we brought some roofing sheets so that you can repair your houses. And then we also brought some food relief packs. And so inside these boxes, you'll find some food, there's some rice, there's some cooking oil, there's mackerel, there's tin tomatoes and other things in it. And then for the boat owners, we brought you some life jackets and these are 300 pieces, uh, pieces of life jackets. Um, I'm a person who likes to swim and I know what the purpose of a life jacket is. Even if you are a very good swimmer and you face a disaster, you still need a life jacket to be able to have enough energy to swim the distance that will take you to shore. And so these are 300 life jackets for our boat owners. Please, if anybody is coming to sit in your boat, give them the life jacket so that if there is a disaster, at least they can stay afloat even if they don't know how to swim so that they can come and be rescued. So we'll give you 300 of these life jackets. I know you need more, but this is a token 
to help save lives of passengers who use the river. And uh, please, let's remember not to overload the boats because that's another major uh, cause of the accidents we have on the lake. And then also maintain the boats properly. For the boat owners, you remember that when NDC was in government, we used to make available outboard motors at a subsidized price and uh, on higher pitches to the boat owners. Unfortunately, I've visited several fishing communities and they say now they cannot get the outboard motors. I wish to assure you that NDC is coming back into government. And that when we come back into government, we will reinstitute that program where we provide outboard motors to our fishing communities at subsidized prices. In office also, we made you form landing beach committees. And you were responsible for distribution of the premix fuel. Now my understanding, I don't know about Germany, but I've been to various fishing communities. And they say that the distribution of the premix has been taken from the landing beach committees and they form new landing beach committees that are made up of only party people. And they receive the premix and sell it back to the real fishermen. When we come, we'll correct all that and make sure that the real fishermen are the one who receive the premix fuel. I've heard what Togbe said. And as for that one, it's not difficult for NDC. Already we're building hospitals all over the country. It was MPP that came and stopped the construction of the hospitals. And I have already said that we're going to make sure that every district gets a modern health facility. And so what Togbi said is not a problem. When we come, we will build a modern health facility here in Germany for you. Aside from that, as you all know, we were working on the road. It was when we left office and MPP came that the road was abandoned. And so when we come, we'll continue the road and complete it. We're going to do the Eastern Corridor Road so that from here all the way through Have to Jessica, the road will be in a good condition. We are going to do a dual carriageway from Tamaranabout all the way to Ho so that we improve the road network in this area. We had planned to build a harbor, a fishing harbor, here at Germany. If NDC comes back, we will implement that Germany fishing harbor so that our fishing folk and our boat owners can have a very safe place to do their business.